I don't know whether to get the... Because I have it, and I have two of it. Huh? But I actually only have one and a half of it, don't I? That is, that's a good amount for two mm. quid, because it costs me about two, two eighty mm. to buy. Yeah, I'm actually an archaeologist by trade, but I've got an interest in early plants, sort of in, in mm. paleobotany and things like that. Um, and then I had a herb nursery on the land um, for a few years, yeah. and uh, a gardening business, and then I moved onto the boat and needed something that I could earn a living from that was quite compact. Mm. Yeah. But I, I just love it anyway, it's just my thing, you know, I just... But you're, you have to source the spices though, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you grow them as well? Grow I grow them. some plants, yeah, but I'm, uh, some of the plants come from my old herb nursery. Uh, which is nice, because they still feel like they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're not. <laughs> they still are. Yeah, yeah. Let me just give it to me. Yeah. Cycled ex working bones. That's right. Yep, that's right. Yeah. 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 World last year, just before Narrowboat Dane was refloated. Wow. So we've been working with some of their, their boats as well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. You've still got some left. Not an awful lot. <laughs> well. I'm a nebby woman, I have to say. <laughs> this has got some that I'm working on at the moment, so it shows a few of the processes. But I've got a board that shows it right from start to start to end there. So this is about three or four processes in, and that's ready for rough shaping, which I'm just doing now. So this would be like a bit of wood. Yeah, that's that, come from that comes as a, or from the yeah, side yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's all all the shell of the boat rather than the fittings inside. And what so that's, is this? That's elm, oh, no. elm, which was a base plate. Yeah. And from there, it just gets roughed down into size. That so the last one I did was there, just to get rough, rough down into size. Yeah, and that's you can feel sort of tool markings. That's still about. Wow. Half a millimetre to a millimetre bigger than it needs to be. Oh, it's so shiny through the middle as well. Yeah, that's that that brass? solid brass tube yeah. in the middle just to give it a bit of strength. Yeah. Yeah, even those are all polished and things before they mm. go together. And these ones that I've just finished uh, coating and done a little bit of polishing on. So you coat them in an oil or a um, No, or? these I'm using because some of the woods are, are quite light and fragile, like that one. Yeah. Um, that's about eight or ten coats of boiled linseed oil and cyanoacrylate. Which okay. gives it a, a, that kind of like tough... a little resin. Yeah, thing. basically. Like it's when you're working first with stones. Of, first couple of coats, that's the same wood, really soaks in. Wow. And it's got uh, polyurethane glue on the inside, so that swells from the inside between the brass and the wood, strengthening it, and then that goes in afterwards. And this is not elm? This is no, 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 that's oak. That's a piece of oak. It's actually cross-cut oak, really just to give it different shapes and patterns. Yes. I don't very often do cross cut because the wood's a bit fragile. Yeah. And it just pings off and falls apart everywhere. Yeah. Wow. And so when you've got you've got all the how many pieces does it take to make a piece to make a um, pen? It varies. That's that's just one pen. It's either a pen and a cap. Yeah. Or because these are the styles that I do. Full of uh, sawdust now. <laughs> so there's a couple of shorter single piece ones okay. and a couple of two piece ones and ones that have a cap wow. which you can post to the end or on the top. So these are just plain wood ones, literally just so people have a scribble. That's actually a lot lighter than you'd yeah. expect it to be. Yeah, especially yeah. when they're closed with a yeah. lid on. People say, oh yeah, but I don't want a big heavy wooden chunky pen. Or a chunky pen, yeah. They really are light and if you do a lot of sketching, note taking and things, I mm. find the lid on just makes it so lightly balanced. Yeah. 
and then I'll, I'll write, put a lot of writing, I'll take the lid off and make the whole thing as light as possible. Yeah. But as well, it's very ergonomic. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Mm. Um, and this is what? What is this one? That's just a piece of ash that I, I use to make the displays. And that's just a standard. Just a standard refill. Refill in that one. Yeah. And you can get the refills from anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>